Hey, Ben, how you doing? I'm well. And yourself? How are you doing? Mr. I'm Russell? doing well as well. Now, tonight we were going to be looking mm -hmm. at doing the interview. Are you happy to go ahead with that interview? Yeah, sure. Okay, then we no got problem. five questions. Okay, go okay, ahead. Then. <laughs> so, this is uh, what we're going to be releasing on a Friday afternoon, and we're going to be doing it every now and then for our for our students. And what it is, okay. is basically, so that new students will get to see a relatedness mm -hmm. and. For people to know yeah. that you start at different levels, you get to different levels, you're from different countries, mm -hmm. you do different jobs, and the reason that you yeah. do English could be a different reason each yeah. time. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's, hopefully let's it will have those. Pardon? Yeah. Hopefully this will have those. Sorry. Yeah. Hopefully this will have those people know more about you. Yeah, it helps to know a bit about me as well. They get to listen to my accent. Yeah. Um, but what mm -hmm. mainly there for me is the relatedness to where the students mm -hmm. are, where they started, why they yeah. started. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to answer a lot of who, what, mm -hmm. when, why sort of questions, you know? Yeah, I understand. Okay, then. So the first question yeah. is, please introduce yourself your country that mm -hmm. you're where you are now mm -hmm. and what you do for a job okay well okay uh my name's benjamin and you can just call me ben if you like and uh my position is uh my job is called the foreign trade agent so uh my job my daily job is to keep in touch with uh our partner in australia which is a design and producing company. Yeah, okay, and, so uh, I'm just from that China. last thing, yeah. Ben, you see, just so that people know there is a little bit of a delay between us. So, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. and obviously, what country are you in? Uh, I'm from China, uh, in Shenzhen. It's a city next to Hong Kong. It's in the southern part of China. Okay, great. So... Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to learn English? What was the driving force to say, I need to be better at English or I need to even start English? Well, uh, honestly, I loved English when I was a kid and I started to learn English when I was 10 years old. But you know what? For most of Chinese students, I mean, we good at writing, we good at reading, we good at listening, but on the speaking part, uh, we still had lots of way or lots of space to improve. And um, the thing I really uh, love English is that um, by this language, I can know about this world, not just those media from China. I mean, uh, the English made me uh, yeah, know about know more about this word and just like uh, you said, like Mr. Ross said, English is like a bridge that can uh, connect the world, right? So I think this okay. is very important, especially uh, for my job right now. My job, you know, my position is a foreign trade. It's very necessary or important to learn or handle English. So. Did you get your job that you have now because you learn, you know English? Yeah, I think so. But, you know, uh, my partner is uh, in Australia. So the first reason I want to have an English class online is that <clears throat> I prefer to find a local teacher, try to think or speak like an uh, Australian person. So this will help me to know more about our my partner in Australia. So okay, this is so my very first reason to, yeah, to learn so English you, you online. You also get a little bit of cultural uh, things that yeah. happen in Australia. You get to hear about those as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. So the next question yep. is, how long have you been learning English? And you already said that you started learning English when you were 10 and you love that. So yeah. 
how long yeah. ago did you start with Double Tick? How long ago with us? Well, uh, I remember that I started this job at in November in 2020, and uh, after a week, I mean after a week when I started that job, and and then I decided to find a foreign teacher. And, okay. Uh, and then you yeah, found me. And I start, yeah. And then I find you. Luckily, very luckily, find you. Okay. So. If it would say November um, and this month for when this video is being recorded, so probably mm -hmm. about well, we're in the we're at the tenth of February now. Oh, so oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. I and I thought I started this job in September. September. Right? Yeah. You said September. You said November oh. earlier. Sorry, I made a mistake. September, October, November, December, January, and February. Oh, I had six months with you. Six months. I already have six months. Six yeah. months. Okay, six then. Months. So the next thing mm -hmm. we're going to ask is to see your progress in six months. So yeah. we had a yeah. look uh, earlier when you first started, and we said mm -hmm. we put you at about orange belt level. Do you remember that? Yeah, an uh, orange bow is that uh, I can only understand 80% to 90% of English uh, of teachers saying. Yes. Right? And right now, I believe I in brown, brown bear, brown bow, sorry. And, okay. And uh, yeah, I can have new words learning every day. Okay, so let's have a look Just, at, for the, for the people watching, let's have a look at the orange belt. So orange belt was, mm -hmm. you have an understanding of around 80 to 85% of what the teacher is saying. You're having conversations yep. in English and your reading has expression. Mm -hmm. It gets frustrating mm -hmm. for you here because you need more vocabulary mm -hmm. and this is like an advanced yep. elementary. So do you remember yep. being at that stage when you first started your job, do you? Uh, yeah, I like, um, at that time you would say lots of things to me and I often get frustrated, like, uh, what are you saying? And what's the word? It seems like I learned this word before, but I can't remember at that moment. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but, yeah, but you are patient and you are patient. You will, uh, you would like to explain the meaning of that word and it helps me a lot to to catch those words or to learn those words. Well, I wouldn't be much of an English coach if I didn't teach you the words, right? Okay. Yeah. So you were saying you're at brown belt level. So let's have a look at where that is. So we've gone past green belt, yeah. past purple belt, mm -hmm. we're into brown belt, yeah. where mm -hmm. it says, you know English, you can debate mm -hmm. politics and even religion. Yep. You're learning words mm -hmm. like ambiguous, congruent, or efficacy mm -hmm. every day. Yep. New professional words are added and used through the day. So you're at an advanced mm -hmm. level of English. Yeah, I mean, I just think so. Like, I believe I can learn uh, lots of new things with you every day, but there are still uh, like, I mean, for every lesson, there are still like uh, five or six uh, vocabulary I never touched before. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. I, I can try my best to debate some politics thing or religious thing. I mean, there are still lots of words I never met before. Like, uh, there are some words I want to uh, express, but I just can't use it. I think I still need time to uh, practice or learn it. Right. Yes, exactly. So mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from. You know where you're at. You're at that level yeah. of there's still a little bit of frustration, but also too, yeah. even native speakers learn new words. There will be a lot of mm -hmm. native speakers that don't know what congruent means or ambiguous or efficacy, yeah. as we said earlier. So you're at that level uh -huh. where your pronunciation still has the Chinese accent and yeah. we're just fine tuning the words and we are also mm -hmm. looking to add new words that you don't, so you don't get frustrated and think, 
what is a word for this? Like that. So that's mm-hmm. where we're at. So it's good. Yeah. So you're and... only one level off black belt. And it's not, <laughs> those sorts of things are really fine tuning. So it takes a long time. If you know anything about martial arts mm-hmm. in brown belt, you'll mm-hmm. spend a long time mm-hmm. before you have mastery to hit black belt. But you're pushing on. So that's great. Yeah. Okay. And my final goal is that I can speak English like a native fight. Yes, that's right. We have to, but, you know, you have to still retain your Chinese. Uh, you will still retain your Chinese accent, but you're not far off native mm-hmm. for what you're speaking now. Okay. You're yeah. using A's, and these. You're putting in all the little words. It's quite good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So Thank let's you. have a look at our last question. What are you most yep. proud of so far with your English lessons? And mm-hmm. what would you like to be acknowledged for? Um, acknowledged for? Like, um, the most thing i really proud of my English is that, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, by this language, I can know what really happened around this world, not just those things from uh, the media from China. And, yes. uh, this is the, I think this is very important, especially when I want to travel somewhere. Like, I mean, I've been to United States, I've been to Thailand, I've been to Malaysia. Uh, I think English is the only way that I can know about their culture, know about their environment, know about their uh, history, know about their uh, like politics. I think English is the only way that we can get closer, the fastest way we can get closer. So to and, uh, bridge so, the uh, gap. And yeah, yeah, that's right. And and uh, uh, what's the next? What's the next about this question? Like ignorance? Yeah. So I get that. What I'm getting from what you said was that you're proud of yourself for learning mm-hmm. English, just learning it in the first place. And the reason that you wanted to learn yeah. it is so that you can bridge the gap. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you see. Yeah. English as like a, a, a bridging, the bridging language that allows you to bridge the gap, yeah. which also yeah. allows you to get to the culture of other people and allows you to broaden mm-hmm. your thoughts. So when you're doing yeah. searches on the internet, I know you not necessarily mm-hmm. have access to Google in China, but when you're doing mm-hmm. searches on the internet, you can type in in English and get more responses mm-hmm. back. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, then. Well, what I want to mm-hmm. say is thanks very much for all the lives of the people that you're going to touch. And when you get out yeah. there and you're traveling, I know you want to look at go to Canada and do your um, higher education in Canada. You're going to be able to make a yeah. difference to many people. So I wanted to thank yeah. you for taking the time to make a difference to other people. Okay? No, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time for teaching me a lot. A lot. I mean, I learned a lot from you. That's my pleasure. Very appreciated. Yeah. Okay, Ben. Well, thanks very much. And we'll end the interview mm-hmm. here. And I'm mm-hmm. going to trust that other people will be able yeah. to relate to you, even if they don't come from China. They may be in marketing. They may be in where you're, that you do foreign work. They may see yep. that they start at Orange Belt and can get better in six months. So thanks very much for being yep. part of that. I appreciate you letting us use this video yep. to put it up online. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So please choose Mr. Ross. <laughs> so don't be shy, give it a try. <laughs> thanks, Ben. Okay, thanks, Bye. man. Bye. Okay. Okay.